Hey, it's Amy. Hope your week was awesome. It's Friday, so I hope tomorrow or Sunday you'll have some time to rest. Make that time for yourself. Today's video is on vulnerability. Is vulnerability a strength or a weakness? Well, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's special to me and open up to you, and then I'll get into the topic for today. So check out my skirt, my uh, headband. This is from my mom. She got it in Hawaii where they vacation and these earrings are from Chiang Mai in Thailand which uh, has a huge heart, huge part in, a huge place in my heart, Thailand. And so I feel really special because I'm wearing Hawaii and Thailand today. So vulnerability, is it a strength or is it a weakness? People who think vulnerability is a weakness they're afraid of emotional exposure. They think that it's weak to expose your emotions. It's like, they think it's like you picturing yourself as a castle and letting your drawbridge down for people to just come and ransack your village and do all these sorts of bad things to you. Well, if you don't use your good judgment, then yes, people will take advantage of you. You can't just let your emotions be known to everyone. You have to use your good judgment. And it takes courage to open up and be vulnerable with people. If you don't open up with people, the ones that can be trusted, then what happens is you don't have the support that you want when you need it. And you never feel like you can be fully yourself with the people that matter to you most and you don't have the connection that you want to have with your family or friends and and or love interest it's just not there as deeply as it could if you were to open up more so vulnerability is a strength because it requires courage and trust and good judgment the key to being strong and vulnerable at the same time is a, being aware that pain is normal Everybody experiences it, and we need other people. People need people. So if you want to be strong and vulnerable at the same time, use your good judgment and start trusting the people around you who you have a pretty good inkling could be trusted, and you'll start to experience greater depth in your relationships and greater support and connection. I am going to share with you on my webinar next week something very vulnerable for me and I'm really looking forward to letting you into my life more. The topic for our webinar call next week, Wednesday at 11 a.m. every week is know yourself. How to get out of the game of comparing with others and needing validation all the time from others. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you. Hope you hop on live and get that training and really apply it to your life so you can really be solid in your own personal worth. Hope you have a great weekend.